Okay, so now I've signed in. As you can see here, my Steam Deck is running Windows and it looks exactly like SteamOS. Welcome to CA Tech. So you have the Steam Deck with Windows installed on it and it hasn't been the best experience out there. This is because you have to deal with so much with navigating the Windows system on such a small screen. It's not quite ideal. If you look at the SteamOS, it's very easy to use and it makes the Steam Deck experience so much better than Windows. One thing that stops me from playing on my Steam Deck is getting into the game. With Windows, it's just not straightforward and when you put something in the middle, you'll stop gaming. But why do we have Windows on the Steam Deck? The reason is we want to play the games that have anti-cheese supported, for example, Modern Warfare or FIFA. Okay, so let's talk about the solution, the good part here. Nine days ago, a new Windows mod that came out that will change your Windows experience to be similar or basically exactly the same as the Steam OS. will make your navigation through the system become really fluid and easy and you'll have sleep mode on Windows. So you'll turn off your device, you turn it back on and the game is still going. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install this on your Windows Steam Deck and what kind of features there are. And we're going to look at the system and just to have a feel of the system. I haven't yet installed it on my Steam Deck, as you can see here. So we're going to do it together. So without further ado, let's get started. So first you need a flash drive that is 16 gigabytes. Uh, as you can see here, I have a USB 2 one. I'm gonna do this installation entirely on the Steam Deck so you don't need an external PC. As you can see here, you just need one of these or use an SD card instead, but I prefer using those because sometimes the SD card does not show on the application that we're gonna use to install this. So after this, of course, you need your Steam Deck, as you can see here. So I left two links in the description below to download these. So what you get here is Rufus. This is uh, an application to uh, re-image the Steam Deck and install something else on it. So if you want to install Windows or something. Uh, so just make sure you have Windows before starting this installation. If you don't have Windows, I left a different video there to install Windows and then come back to this video so you can carry on. So the, the second file here will have these two uh, uh, files that will go on to Rufus. So we're gonna, so to burn into the flash drive here. Uh, so let's let's start with that and put our flash drive right into the Steam Deck and uh, wait for it to get recognized. Because as you can see here, the light is showing. Um, next, we need to uh, enable Rufus here. So you need to run it, give it permissions. And then here is gonna, as you can see here, it's running and it detected my card. If it doesn't detect your card, go here, just say it lists all USB devices in the advanced settings and your card will show up. So if you have an SD card, sometimes it doesn't show up here. So there are different apps to use for the SD card. Rufus sometimes does not see them. So the second thing that you need to do is uh, you go to that folder that we uh, extracted. You need to put this into Rufus. So we need to just drag it into Rufus here and put it basically. And then here, make sure you select GPT. Don't select MBR, because that's gonna ruin the whole thing for you, actually. Uh, here, go into NTFS, and then uh, you're ready to install. So after that, just click Start and wait for it to finish. Sometimes it takes around um, 20 minutes to finish. So let that load, and then after you're done, we're gonna go to the next step. Okay, so our installation is now done. Don't remove the USB drive yet because there's one more step we need to do. So let's go to here. The new USB drive is gonna be called Rescue. So let's open this USB drive and then we open the folder that we downloaded before. Okay, so here what you need to do is scroll down and then you need to copy Windex OS into this bootable drive. Just put it into the root. Don't uh, put it into any of the folders. Just copy it there and wait for it to copy. This will take um, a few minutes, to be honest, because it's a it's a large file. So depend on the drive that you have. So just wait for it to finish so we can go to the next step. Okay, so the copying is now done. We need to go into the recovery mode. So how you do that is uh, you need to take off the... Um, hard drive for now and then let's turn off our Steam Deck. So just hold on the power button until it turns off. Okay, your Steam Deck is now off and you can see me there. Hi. So anyway, now you can turn it into the recovery mode. So what you need to do is press the volume down and then you press the power button once. After you hear it, make a sound, just leave them both and it's gonna go into recovery mode. After we're in recovery mode, now what we need to do is uh, plug in your USB device here. So let's plug in here, wait for it to show up. As you can see here, now we have the new USB device that we made into a bootable image. We need to select that and it's going to take us to the installation process. Okay, so it's going to boot a different way this time. As you can see here, it's booting into Reflect 8. We're going to wait for it to load and then go into the next step. 
Okay, once it's fully booted, we will get into the screen. So I'm gonna zoom in here just to look closely. As you can see here, we're gonna look for browse files. We're gonna click on this and then it's gonna come up with these options. Okay, now we need to find our device. So as you can see here, it's rescue. Uh, we didn't change the name. So click on that twice. Uh, sorry, it's not this one. You click on this. Uh, it's very hard to click on. So when you click it, you will get into this, um, the image we copied. So double click on that. Um, just to select it and press OK and now it is selected. Okay, what you need to do now is click into this box and then click action and click on uh, restore this partition. Uh, just make sure you click the right one because it's uh, the partition, the buttons are really, really small. So what we need to do now is select a disk to restore to. So if we do this and then uh, we have an SSD, if you want to do it to SD card, you can do that. But I have an SSD here, it's 500 gigabytes. So I'm going to select this one. So the internal SSD one is going to be the one with this icon. So as you can see, this icon uh, is the one. So here we have, for example, sorry, I selected the wrong one here. Um, uh, select a different one here. Uh, as you can see here, this one is like uh, the a USB drive, but we're going to select uh, the SSD. So it's uh, this one. Uh, now it's selected. Now we can uh, click next. But before you go next, you need to select these boxes here. As you can see, this box, we need to check it. And there's another one. So I just uh, move this screen here. And you can see here, there's another one. You need to check this one as well. As you can see here, uh, it's, it's pretty hard, but we checked it as well. Now what we need to do is basically uh, move this screen here. And it, where it says a copy partition, as you can see here. So I'm going to click copy partition. And you're going to get these two options. So what you need to do is uh, if, you uh, if your SSD is not bigger than 2 terabytes, just click shrink or extend to fold the target disk. So that's the second option here. Just make you select it. Uh, don't select the first one. And as you can see here, it is now selected. Just make sure it's selected properly because the touch is very hard as a screen is really small okay so we need to do now is uh, click next as you can see here and then you need to click finish but you're not gonna see finish here just make sure you move the screen as you can see here you click finish uh, click that one and then a warning uh, should appear as you can see here or it's gonna start right away I didn't get that warning. sometimes you get one yet this is the warning and it's, it's gonna say you need to overwrite and basically this means your partition is gonna go formatted into this device so click agree to that and then click continue and it's going to start doing this so now we're going to wait for it to install and then come back to show you the next step okay so now the installation has been finished in 12 minutes as you can see here so all you need to do is click ok and then move this window and click close and then now you'll see there is a button here um, at the bottom that is red click on that and don't cl click reboot click shut down and click ok your Steam Deck will shut down now and I'll take you to the next step. Okay, so here's our Steam Deck. Let's take this drive off and turn on, on Steam Deck right now. So when we turn it on, it should boot up into the new Deck OS, uh, WinDeck OS. Um, so it's gonna boot up in portrait mode and we're gonna fix it for the first time. You only need to do this once and then it's gonna stay that way. Okay, as you can see here, WinDeck has now fully booted uh, up into uh, Windows. As you can see here, Windows looks entirely different. It booted up straight to landscape. I was expecting it to go into a portrait mode, but it didn't. So let's go through it really quickly. Okay, so the installation has now been finished. As you can see here, we booted into uh, WinDeck OS. As you can see here, it's asking us to set up our Steam Deck, just like on SteamOS. So let's go through the steps and uh, set up with English here and um, just to, uh, choose your time zone. Uh, did not detect mine, so I'm just gonna look for uh, my time zone here. It's gonna be Greenwich time. And then it's gonna ask you for your um, Wi-Fi, of course. Yeah, so what you need to do is uh, the first time you connect your Wi-Fi, you need to connect it from the Windows uh, desktop mode for the first time only. So swipe up like this with three fingers and then you'll see the normal Wi-Fi um, uh, for Windows. Uh, all your drivers are going to be installed with this, so you don't need to install any additional drivers. They come pre-installed uh, the the usual uh, drivers for uh, Valve that they put out. It's already integrated into the system. So let's uh, connect to the Wi-Fi and go to the next step and look through the system itself. Okay, so our Wi-Fi is now connected. As you can see here, we can uh, go into the next step. So it's going to ask you now to sign in with your Steam account, just like on SteamOS. So I'm going to sign in and we can see how the system looks like. Okay, so now I've signed in. As you can see here, my Steam Deck is running Windows. 
and it looks exactly like SteamOS. Um, as you can see here, we also have our sleep mode. So for example, now you turn off your Steam Deck and uh, the minute you turn it back on, it's uh, back where you left it. So there is no more loading or signing screens. And uh, so this works with the games as well. So the games should work exactly fine. After you uh, turn it off, turn it back on, the game should pick up where you left from. Uh, there's one thing I need to tell you about is that this will always boot into big picture mode. So Steam big picture mode. So this is only for the Steam games. Of course, if you want to play other games, what you need to do is pull from the bottom with uh, three fingers again, or what you need to do is go to, um, sorry, the power settings here, and then you need to go into exit big picture mode. You're gonna go into the desktop now. Um, so if you don't want this to be into a big picture mode when you turn on the system, what you need to do is uh, go into um, the run command. So let's say here and go run. You know, run is gonna uh, turn up by itself, as you can see here. Uh, it says a uh, startup shell, so startup shell here. And as you can see now, it's um, it loaded up this for us, as you can see. So it's here you can see it's start in game mode. So what I need to do is delete this one, it's start in game mode, as you can see here. Let me delete it. Um, so what you need to do is delete this one, and then you need to put steam here instead and then when you are uh, gonna restart your steam deck is it's gonna go into desktop mode instead of going into the big picture mode just make sure you copy this one so you don't lose it um and put it back on the screen here um as you can see here so we have steam again if you want to go back uh, automatically go into uh, to big picture mode what you need to do is delete steam from here uh, the same way and put into big picture mode and that will put you automatically into big picture mode all your drivers are there everything is there and this is a very light system as you can see here there is no bloatware uh, sorry about the brightness here let me just put it down Okay, so you can see properly as you can see here when we go to the start menu this system is uh, completely clean there is literally no windows apps no bloatware nothing like that and uh, we can go also to look at the um, uh, task manager just to see uh, to give you an idea of what's running on the system uh, and what's the usage here so let's go to performance as you can see here um, it's quite clean uh, run of uh, windows it's uh, very close to steam os itself I have not done any Windex benchmarks yet. I'm gonna leave that into the experts. There are some people already working on that, but I so far it looks like a very clean system. You don't need to install the drivers yourself. There is sleep mode there, and um, just booting into the big picture mode like by itself automatically will make you feel at home like you're on SteamOS. But one thing to mention also, you don't have all the SteamOS features. For example, when you open this one here, you don't have all the SteamOS features. You just have um, a FPS counter if you want to turn it on or off. Um, you also don't have uh, support for uh, non-Steam games uh, for the controller. So what you need to do here, it's still the same thing. You need to um, get uh, either handheld companion or Steam Deck tools to deal with the uh, non-Steam games. And uh, you can also add the, the non-Steam games directly into Steam and some of them will support the controller of the Steam itself. So that's it for me, guys. This is the full video about how to install WinDeck on your Steam Deck. And the next video, I'll uh, test the system, uh, play some games on it and compare it to normal Windows and tell you which one is better. But but for the user experience, this one is definitely better. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, I work really hard on these videos. So give me a subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And peace.